<laughs> so the tag dyes themselves, um, they're the everyday tag dyes, which I have to say makes me believe when we put everyday, makes me think maybe we'll ah, get a Christmas like one. A Christmas one. I'm always hopeful for that when we see yeah. an everyday because then you think, well, it's everyday, then we'll get Christmas mm. ones, which will be amazing. Well done, so, Miss Marple. I know. I have my little uh, my little ears pick up. Yes, uh, Detective Fisher. Um, uh, we're going to use the champagne glasses because I did think I would sort of replicate it, um, although um, uh, Carol's done a, a brilliant job of the little box. I put it somewhere and I don't know where it's gone. But um, Now, all we're going to do, let me give you the measurements to start with. So we've got, um, we've done this seven and a half by seven and a half inch square. Now I've got it, I just don't know what I've done with it. Oh. It's just disappeared. No, it was right next to me. I've oh, I've knocked it on the floor, look. Um, <laughs> I have found it. There we go. Let's really pop cool. that on there. Um, I'm doing mine a little bit different as well, so I thought I'd show you a variation, but that's the one from... It's Carol Lorriman. What a lovely surname, Lorriman. Lorriman is a nice Lorriman. name, actually. Um, now, I've done this 7.5 inch by 7.5 inch, and then I've scored at 2.5 inches, <laughs> um, and we've done that on the box base side of our board. Um, and then we're going to use our glasses on here. Mm. Now you can see I've made mine a little bit thicker so we can come across. So we're literally going to place that right on there. Um, now what you're going to do is to make sure you take them down. The good thing is when taping them um, is they are going to uh, go at the bottom. So that bottom yeah. piece is going to come away. So let's cut just a couple out because I've already got one that I've fully cut out and I want to be able to get to the end of the demo. So let's just take those little pieces off my board because they will imprint into the card uh, and run those through so just like so now really depending on um, what project you're making so if you're making just tags or bookmarks you're going to be able to use your Gemini mini for all of these tag yeah. dies which is incredible but if you're doing projects like this then obviously depending on the size of the project uh, my seven and a half inches you will need a bigger die cutting machine so cutting out really easy Let's just take that piece away and trim those side bits down. So we're literally just going to cut down there and cut down there. I'm going to cut this piece off. Now what we are going to do, so I will show you my uh, nearly finished one. Um, when you come to sticking these in, can you see we're actually covering uh, here. So what you want to do, we want to cut these bits down. So when you place, in fact I'm going to do another one to show you rather than say it. Um, and then it will make a lot of sense. So as you go round, let's cut one more. So just popping that right to the bottom there and then stick that one down because it doesn't take long to cut them through. Like so, and then we'll just send that one through. Um, and I wanted to show you this because I wanted to show you when you put them together how you need to do them. Um, and they're not tricky at all. It's just a case of lining them up um, and cutting some of that edge away. Mm. So let's take that one out, like so. So once we do this one, we're going to have the same. So take that one away, trim that one, and then we're also going to trim the other side. Now I'm not measuring this, um, but I would make I would actually make sure that we were putting them in the exact position on each side. Yeah. So as this one comes round you'll see that you've got this bit here. So bring it round and then just trim that part there, like so. And then that way, you've got then your cutoff point. So there, that creates the perfect tag when sticking your box together. And you get that amazing little lip there. So I'll do that again so you can see what I've done. Oh, we haven't got another one to do it with. But what you would do is bring that round, trim that so you'd hold it together, then trim that to your next one. And then that gives you your line then to where you cut that to. So that will give you your correct tabs at the side. Because when you're putting a box together, you only need a small tab to yeah. hold it, but it's not going to get in the way of your design then. Okay. Now, the other thing I did is took some of our Centura Pearl. Okay. Um, and I trimmed round it. So, and what I mean by that, if I get this die, uh, where is my, um, it was the, the base. What am I doing? Here it is. This base bit here, I've actually drawn round the base. 
I know that <laughs> sounds very strange. You've got to send your help. On the show. Uh, yes, yeah, so if you draw round this, look at this, Ben, draw round the bottom base piece. Mm -hmm. That then gives you the design that you need to go underneath. So it's just a case. And then if you just come round inside the lines, uh -huh. just around like that, you don't have to be too fussy. And you can see I'm being not very fussy at all. That gives you your piece here, which will fit perfectly underneath. Uh, very good. So there you go. Top so that tip. will actually come inside there, just like so. Yeah. Okay. So we've got all those pieces. So I'm going to bring in my one that I've done here, and I've just got one left. So I've put those pieces under each one. Yeah. It's like little legs, aren't they? Like <laughs> sticking like out. <laughs> um, and then we've got our last piece, and I've done exactly the same. Just drawn around that, place that at the bottom, um, and then we're doing this. Now the reason I did this and. Carol, let me bring hers in. She did it where she cut out these pieces that come out of the glasses. She's cut them in gold and placed them back on the inside. I just wanted to make a bit more of a rigid box. Um, so all I did with mine was to cut round them and create those little panels. So let's just add some tape. Love the fact that we were able to do this in shows. And, and again, you know, such a talented team we've got here. Because there's, I mean, I know a lot of people would, but I also think a lot of people wouldn't and would get these home and just make tags after tags after tags, which is fine, which is what they're for. Yeah. But how oh, great that we've kind of thought out of the boxes a little bit here, and now you're using them on box lids. I mean, I, it just shows the versatility of this range again, doesn't it? Absolutely. And, and, early, and earlier on, you showed, didn't you, um, how to use them to make kind of toppers for the front of your cards as yep. well. Um, I think, like you say, it's just thinking different things and thinking what yeah. other things you can use them from. And what I would say, Ben, <clears throat> is these are edgeable dies. So think oh, of anything yeah. you can put an edgeable to, yeah. you can create an edgeable. Um, and I think that's really, really important to be able to know that when you buy something, that's the versatility that you're getting is an mm. edgeable die. So even though they're tag dies, I think we've given you so much more um, sort of creation um, yeah being able to be creative with them um al's gone now <laughs> As I said, good, good news <laughs> good no, news just, <laughs> off to cook dinner now great show guys love you all we love al as well oh, of course. Bless him. um and gillian grady says i just used my tag dies to make some bookmarks and i'm very pleased with them oh, great idea again right idea yeah really good idea mm. And I would say, if you wanted to make the glass legs a little bit stronger, you could always re-die cut this back out. So you could trim those ones back out and just put them back in. And that would just give you a little bit more rigid on the legs there. Uh, so once we've got that piece, we've got then our bottom piece. I've done that. Um, we've done this a little bit smaller. So we've done this six and three quarters of an inch. And we've come in at two and a half inches. Uh, and then we're going to stick this one together. And the reason I did this one a different size is because we want the box uh, the black of the box to show through at the bottom so we're just putting all of our tape down onto there and then placing that round just make sure when you're making a box especially on your scoreboards that you're using your box lid side to make the lid and the box base side to make the base and i know that sounds like a really silly easy thing to do but well, it's really easy to do it the wrong way yeah so that's all you need to be that little bit more mindful of. So our last one into there. So that's going to then fit our box over the top. And then all I've done then is, you can see there's our little box. I've just done a little matting layer so we can place that at the top. And then I've also used one of the dies out of um, the launch today. So we've popped. Oh no, I didn't. I'm completely lying. It's not. I was trying Don't to find. Don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I was trying to find a happy birthday, but I did. I used this from something else. Um, no, 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 no. It was uh, out of one of Sarah's signatures, and it had a few of these, and it had a few different words, and I can't remember which one it is now. Someone will tell us. Yes, yeah, someone will tell us. It had about four different dies, and then it had the stamps to go with it, and I, oh, I can't remember what it is. I've not even wrote it down, which is not good. So apologies, but I'm sure you'll have some little happy birthday uh, stamps and dies. So literally, we've got our birthday on top there, and then I'm just going to use that happy to place at the top so a little bit more just around there but it shows how super easy it is just to be creative yeah. so let's pop that happy across the top there just pop that down 
And actually, I'm going to trim those edges just so they don't get in the way there. So just trim one there and that one. They would just go to the side. And there we go. There's my take on the little box there. So that one was um, uh, Carol's there. And we've just done ours a little bit different, like so. But thank you, Carol, for the inspiration because I thought that was a really super box to be able to create.